Time now for our rising coronavirus crisis update. We're going to start uh, with the latest in terms of numbers of new infections and deaths. We're now at 1.86 million cases here in the U.S. That's an addition of nearly 20,000 since yesterday. 107,000 plus deaths at this point. That's an addition of nearly 1,000 since yesterday. Around the world, we see 6.5 million cases. Uh, that's 100,000 additional since yesterday. 384,982 deaths, an addition of 5,500. So numbers continue to head in the right direction. Very encouraging. Um, one, you know, uh, piece of news that we got out that you know connects coronavirus crisis with the the protests and the uprisings that we're seeing across the country. George Floyd's autopsy actually revealed that he had coronavirus. It's so. astounding. I mean, and this just merely makes you think about the, uh, you know, the amount of asymptomatic cases right. that are out there. How many people have it but have no symptoms that are, right. you know, fine with it, have immune. I mean, we just don't know any of that. Right. Well, let's, so this is the other thing. I mean, we covered that pool party in the Ozarks, which everyone, you know, got very Karen'd out about. And they're like, oh, how dare they? Well, it turns out that according to the St. Louis Dispatch, that there is not a single new coronavirus case from the Lake of the Ozarks crowd. And I haven't yet seen the data. We don't have it in from obviously all these protests who are violating social distancing and all of that. I don't know if the numbers are going to spike up there. So I have a lot of hard questions about uh, why exactly I had to stay inside for two and a half months and why, you know, friends had to cancel weddings and air travel and we crashed the economy and all of that as we continue to see data like this. I mean, so. that is very encouraging, the Lake of the yeah. Ozarks thing. I mean, that and I, and I think, you know, at this point, people are kind of. They've been locked down for so long. I'm sure that we did help to ameliorate the worst of what could have happened. Mm -hmm. But yeah, information like this just shows you, okay, maybe we can really start to reopen. People are obviously out in the streets in every city in the nation anyway, so yeah. that's where we are. At the same time, the economic crisis continues. Um, Somewhat unabated, frankly, we just got new jobless claims in from the past week and uh, came in higher than, a little higher than expected, 1 point nearly 9 million. That was a little bit more than the 1 point almost 8 million that economists were expecting. Uh, obviously, in normal times, that's an insane number. However, it is a decline from what we've seen in recent weeks. What is a little more troubling here, though, is that the uh, total number of Americans who are on continuing claims, so the number that are still on unemployment, who haven't found new jobs and gotten off unemployment, actually did tick up a bit. After we saw a decline last week, this week we saw it tick up about 649,000, so that's up to a total of 21.5 million continuing claims. So that goes to show you the economic piece of this far from over and people are not, it's not going to be a V. It's not just going to snap back. It's going to take a long time yeah, if you go for people look, to get reconnected with jobs. Right, if you look at the chart, it's like a massive spike, very slight update from last week right back up here. So you can see that, look, we need another economic response right now. I know that's not exactly what people are talking about. It's a disgrace it be, though. that Congress is sitting at home watching all of this unfold. And the, these number 1.9 million cases, uh, 1.9 million unemployment claims continue to be filed and not a peep about maybe covering some American citizens' payroll. Businesses are already beginning to fail. Can't let that story go to and waste. And by the way, I know people personally yeah. who filed for unemployment weeks, if not months ago, and still haven't had their claims process. I mean, the whole structure of the thing was insane from the jump, that your, right. pro your, that your policy would be to push people onto unemployment right. is absolute madness. And that now, as we still see 2 million almost claims coming in, and you're not going to do anything about it. There you go. Pretty outrageous. All right, more rising for you after this.